In this video, we're going to show you how you can solve quadratic equations on a Casio FX9860G2 calculator. And for this video, we're going to look at a work example. So the question we've got is to solve x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And now the first step to solve this is to put the calculator into the correct mode. And to do this, we're going to press menu, and then we're going to navigate to where it says equation. So we go down and then choose option A. Now we need to open the polynomial solver. So option one will let us solve simultaneous equations. Option two is for quadratics and polynomials. And then option three is for a different solver for solving other equations. So let's choose um, F2 for the polynomial solver. It then asks us to choose the degree. So we've got x squared as the highest power, so we'd be choosing option two. If you had a cubic equation, you'd be choosing option three. Or if you had x to the power four, that would be for option four. So you're always looking at what is the highest power of x. Now these buttons here with the f's line up with these buttons here. So we are selecting degree two. So the button under that is f1. That now lets us input our coefficients. And so I've shown you how these match up on the left. So to enter the coefficients, we need to look at our equation. So a is going to be one because nothing in front of x squared. B is going to be two. And then our constant term is c, which is minus three. So we're going to put in 1, then we're going to put in 2 for b, and then c is going to be minus 3, and I'm pressing execute each time. And now we want to solve this, and if we want to solve it, you can simply just press the execute button again, and it will give you a vector of your solution. So the solutions are coming out as x1 is 1, and then x2 is minus 3. This calculator isn't able to solve equations that don't have real roots, but it will tell you that. So for example, we could have an equation which is 1, and then say we've got um, x squared minus 3x plus 4 equals 0, so I'll put the 1 in there, then minus 3, and then 4, and then equals, and you can see it'll come up with an error that says no real roots. So this, this calculator won't find the imaginary roots, it'll simply warn you that there's no real roots, and that means that there's, there's no solutions in the real numbers. So that's what that, that error means. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.